Hey guys, welcome to Nerdarchy, for nerds by nerds. I'm Nerdarchist Ryan, and today I'm flanked by a couple of nerds. Nathan Nerdark. Nerdarchist Dave. And uh, so we're still exploring the Unearthed Arcana, and today we're going to look at some of the uh, the fightery classes. We have the Scout and the Cavalier. But before so, that, we should talk about the newsletter, where you can get cool swag and, uh, well, digital swag, and also ways to game with Nerdarchy and uh, information about what's going on with us. Digital, so it's not real! Yeah, it's totally real. Yeah. It's real, electrons. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah. it's one hundred percent recycled megabytes. Yeah, yes, pretty much. Yeah, so that'll be in the uh, description below. All right, so part two on Arthur Canada AD and D kits. We're now we're moving on to the fighter. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. We and have... pretty much like right out of the book, pretty much from the I, from I, the I, I f Listen, I feel like once they did the bard, mm. um, and uh, and they got to the got to the uh, the fighter, I almost feel like. They were like up against a hard deadline. They ran out of time, and they're like they just threw something together. Or this was like the fourth glass of scotch, and they're like, hmm. <laughs> whatever, <laughs> stop. Yeah. I mean, look, look, look at even if you just compare the descriptions oh, alone, of, yeah. yeah, to the, of the of the college, uh, the different co bard colleges compared to the the fighter. You know, it the is kind of a, it is it's kind of a joke because like it's literally one. I, I don't know one twelfth the, the the size of just like the flavor text. If you combine the flavor text from the scout and the cavalier, not it, even half of the it, either any it, one of the bard columns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like they definitely were peeing all over the fighter on this one. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the guy's just a bard lover. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Whoever wrote this. And the bard is so awesome in fifth edition; it doesn't need any help. Yeah, maybe that's what their so, problem was. So you know, so I'm looking at that, and that's kind of a little bit of an issue. And then the other part is, I, you know, I just don't feel like, I feel like there's just recycled mechanics. And, like, just lacking flavor. Like, even, like, with the Bard, there were some things that I'm like, ah, yeah, I don't know if that works or if that's overpowered or mm. if that's, you know, within the game. But it was balance. unique to that build. But, yeah, right? but at, least, like, at least it was new and thoughtful. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why you recycle mechanics, so no one questions the balance of them. Right. Maybe. Pro tip when designing your own, yeah. <laughs> your own uh, class. So both the you know the fighter and, okay so both of the fighter types I guess we'll look at the cavalier first which was cavalier cavalier was actually uh, we also a class in AD&D &D, mm. not just mm. a kit yeah I, I don't remember if it was a, if it was a kit or not but it was definitely a class I'm pretty sure when they got around to doing kits there was a cavalier kit yeah. oh, it was probably probably was we're talking uh, first edition, second edition second yeah on okay. Arthur they had the cavalier it was like yeah. a die twelve fighter. And like they had to, they had to follow the code of chivalry, mm -hmm. you know. And they're definitely all about the amount of combat. Yeah, they were like, um, they were paladin light. They, they were in some ways they were paladin light, but in other ways they were far more restrictive than the paladin, because mm. that code of chivalry was like really defined and spelled out. Mm. And uh, you know, and it didn't, you know, it didn't matter like good and evil so much as like you just followed these rules. Honor code, yeah. yeah. So you could be lawful evil, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very into being lawful. <laughs> lawful evil is my favorite alignment. Oh yeah, yeah. As yeah. long, hey, as long as you were chivalrous and you followed the code, you were yeah. good. You were yeah. golden. Yeah. Fantastic. So yeah, you get, uh, you know, like there is some thematic things where you get, you know, like you can expend superiority die to influence your, your mount. Um, there's one where you can expend it to get the bonus to attack. Another one that this one makes perfect sense when you're attacking the lance, you can use that superiority die to bonus to damage because when you're charging down, like with your mount bearing down, something right. totally makes sense. And even cooler is you can upgrade that to two at seventh level. Yeah, yeah. Which so is kind of nice, you know. You just yeah, I mean, when the crap out I was thinking to myself, well, how often does this really come up, right? Well, yeah, basically, your GM has to write wide open field encounters where you can actually charge on the lance. Although, Small cavaliers who ride on like wolves or dogs will get to use it way more often than what, what or snakes. Or snakes, <laughs> right? Sure. A, a halfling <laughs> ranger could totally have a beast companion. When, when you That's say like that, the stupidest thing ever. When you say that, I just picture it's, a snake. You know, with under someone's its neck under someone's foot with its tongue hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's faster, awesome. faster! Don't don't deny it. You, it's awesome. You think about it later. Yeah, but for now, to think about. It. And so the other thing is, you can expend the superiority die when mounted to get a bump to your to your AC or or your mounts. So that's and you take half are, damage even if they hit. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. A big so deal. that's those are all pretty decent. Yeah, a lot of tactician style things to do with your but superiority die. You also get uh, bonus, you get some bonus proficiencies. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get so yeah. basically like animal related uh, related bonus proficiencies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and also you get the thing about uh, you know mounting or dismounting. Will, it costs you five feet as opposed to half your move. So that's yeah. that's pretty handy. And you, quick I mount. think do you have advantage on ride checks and stuff? Uh, I don't think I don't think it says that. Or you being do. dismounted. You have advantage to uh, the check. The saving throw would be dismounted. So yeah. they're, they're well, better. You always land on your feet if you're knocked off. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's both actually. Yeah. Uh, which the, I, I find the really odd thing is they don't actually get land vehicles. Yeah, that's pretty hilarious. Because I'm pretty sure land vehicles replaces riding in this edition. Yeah. 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 So it's like they get handle animals unless you, unless it's like because you know the uh, skills are very ambiguous in fifth edition so unless they're saying you can use handle animal or you know land vehicles yeah. for that ride yeah, yeah. Mm. Is, is the only thing i think oh that, oh, that is the one thing they did they gave the fighters a lot of proficiencies mm. really you wouldn't use handle animal for riding a horse you'd use land vehicles instead i thought you would use land vehicles for like riding a wagon or Driving away. Driving it, away. I, it's land. Uh, the vehicles is like anything you would. Anything like, that moves out. Yeah. Okay. It kind of deal. So you. And I mean, I like having it consolidated. H handle but. animals is more like handling like beasts of burden or training them. Hmm. That, that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, I would almost like say for wagon driving, it handle animal or or like vehicles land. Like I'm sure you can make a. a Argument for using either one for that kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, oh, and you were right about the the being the advantage versus being dismounted, and also that you always land on your feet uh, for uh, when you get knocked <laughs> off your uh, your horse. Yeah, yeah, Cavaliers are all about riding. Now, although now that being said, you know I was saying like, but if you think about it, like um, in in the game we play with Ted, uh, Jeremy's actually used his mount in combat quite a few times mm -hmm. now. Yeah. But we have a lot of wilderness encounters in that yeah. in that game. Well, I mean, it's and it is a wilderness animal, pretty much. Yeah, a lot of that stuff is kind of the onus of the GM too. Like, I mean, if I'm if I'm GMing a game or DMing, uh, and somebody you know invested a lot of things in being a mountain co combatant, yeah, I'm going to try to every other Make session. Make sure they're in the dungeon. Every other session, give them an encounter where that actually applies. You know, um, but you know, if you have such a a dichotomy of like, oh, these guys all want to be in the dungeon. This character wants to always be in the wilderness. Well, it's not going to always happen. Well, you better be a small. <laughs> yeah, you better be a small cavalier. Riding yeah. a snake. Riding a snake. Yeah. So uh, let's see. He's got this ferocious charger, which is the thing that you said where you get yeah, to add the really extra good. dice to the charging, and then they get relent relentless, which is just recharging your um, uh, your superiority dice. Yes. So. Um, so that's done. <laughs> On to that, because you know, it was really like we we stretched it out way more than there was actually content about it. Yeah. Uh, and then we have the scout. The scout is actually kind of probably the lamest done one. It's well, it's kind of everything the cavalier is. Yeah, uh, except for um, apply it to like moving around outdoors or something. <laughs> yeah, like all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the rest of this ball of scotch. You guys mind? Uh, uh, I'm getting boozy here. It, it's kind of like yo, know, you wanted to be a ranger, but you didn't be the ranger. You failed at ranger camp. Well, I mean, like so. Well, you're not gonna. Okay, so <clears throat> let's say you wanted to be rangery and yeah. you didn't want to be a ranger. Well, rangers get spells, and mm -hmm. uh, so that's gonna be right out. And they get different. They get different weapon weapon style stuff. So yeah. So I mean, with so this, there is that a you fighting styles. You get some more. Uh, you get you know some of the rangery skills as bonus skills, um, which the scout also. Get, well, the thieves tools for the scout actually makes sense because like disarming traps. Like if you're going to actually scout out, that yeah. you know that one legitimately makes sense. But the, so one of the silly things is um, one of their uses of the superior error dice is they get to roll, and they don't get to add the full bonus. No, they get half the bonus of what they roll to what. To a variety of skills, uh, stealth, survival, perception, nature, athletics, right? So, isn't it you, like a D6? Or, D8. Well, well, later on it, it goes. Uh, starts you know, D8. Uh, later on okay. it goes to a D12. But that means if you roll a two, you get a bonus of one for having spent that superiority dice. Like it just anything that you do where you spend this resource is not going to be game breaking enough to like warrant giving somebody. I almost feel bonus. like just give them expertise for that roll. Yeah. Instead, yeah. but yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's, they, it's, they've got the superiority dice. <clears throat> excuse me, they've got the superiority dice theme going, so they they're linking it all to that. But I would have just expertise it. So I mean, what do they get? They get four. They get four. Start off with four uses. 
Yeah, I mean, so, yeah, let me see if that... Yeah, four. You get four of them. Yeah, you know, and every short rest, they recharge. Yeah. Now, yeah, I agree. I don't think it's that big a deal. So they're really awesome at doing a skill. Uh, really... Once every short rest. Or, I mean, if they want to spend all the resources doing that and not doing combat stuff, sure, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, it, personally, I would think they would always use it for the armor class. Yeah, yeah. Increase your armor class, and then, uh, you know... On, on top of that, you 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 automatically do the half damage. That yeah, yeah. Like so, the best so they have a capability that oh, yeah. um, if they're hit by attack and wearing light or medium, so you do have to reduce your the armor that you're wearing to be able to do that. So well, you're I mean, scout, so you're not going to be. Yeah, and no. you should probably be a Dexy character. Yes. You, you should be Dexy. So and Dexy. And then also too, they have. So uh, yeah, they get the bonus to, um, to, to, attack. to to attack again. Like I feel like they needed something that give them a bump to movement, give them like a dodge or a disengaged uh, expenditure or something. Basically, like you're a very moving, ambushy sort of character. Give them a superiority thing related to that. Maybe some sort of limited version of like a sneak attack. You know, like that would have been cool. Yeah, it feels very like afterthoughtish. The whole this finishing whole arc, the bottle, like... <laughs> finishing the bottle of scotch. Like yeah, that's. Yeah, so yeah. it's it's not thematic. It's not particularly interesting. It's not flavorful. Uh, yeah, except for the sweet, sweet taste of this bottle of scotch. Like I wish I had like off the top of my head like a brand of scotch. I could have been sold it better. But so like natural explorer, they get the ranger thing. Um, they get you when know, did they get that at a, a third a third, third level? So, and, and, and get it so every so many levels. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, now worth noting with these two archetypes, um, superiority are already die abilities are used a little bit different where with the battle master you have to pick them and that's the ones you know mm -hmm. with these these are basically you get them all you, you get a get, handful of them so yeah, yeah yeah the scout gets three the um right the scout gets three uh, three yeah options. they get three I, I, and the cavalier gets four options i wish they just had like more cool options that they would get as their level and sure they have to pick you know let them pick and you know they can be, really tell her their character yeah and be good at certain things yeah yeah so um, what is Natural Explorer? You get to like double your proficiency in certain terrains. It's basically it, right? Yeah, pretty, yeah. yeah, pretty much. So I mean, there's that, and they get you know the improved combat superiority and relentless again. So there you are. There yeah, you it's pretty uninteresting. Uh, yeah, yeah, underwhelming. Yeah, yeah. Underwhelming. So especially after reading the Bard. Yeah, no, the Bards were, were really cool. Even if if we were a little off on the um, on the satire, College yeah. of Satire, we were so into the Blade though. Mm -hmm. uh, blade is fantastic. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Have you read the Have you read the uh, Unearthed Arcana? Would you allow these in your game? Yay or nay? Uh, let us know in the comments below. While you're at it, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, by all means, check us out over on Instagram. We also read the articles over at nerdrecky.com. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.